Eric's Aerials Gore-Tex Fast and Light. <laughs> My name is Tommy and today I'm making a review of the Arcteryx uh, Aerios Gore-Tex uh, after 1500 kilometers. Now it's obvious that it's not those ones, the one I'm going to be talking about was my previous pair. But to show you how much I like those shoes, I just got my new ones. So those ones are uh, the grey, uh, which is the cinder and bushwhack color and uh, those will be my new hiking shoes. Uh, well, I'm gonna start breaking them up, but uh, they're, they're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be wearing those moving forward, but we can use them as a comparable for uh, the actual thickness of the lugs on there and uh, compare like how, how much my old ones fared compared to a new pair of shoes. Now, the first thing I wanna point out with the Arcteryx shoes that I have here um, was uh, how long they lasted. Um, like 1500 kilometers is quite a bit. And usually, I've, like I usually go through a pair of shoes every year. And the main issue for me is, as also always been, the, the wear out at the back here. So if I, I, I show you, like uh, I have a pair of uh, Moab, uh, the Merrill here. Uh, the main reason I, ditch those was the actual wear at the back here of the shoe. Uh, I, they were comfortable, but uh, even if the sole is still good, my heel was starting to kind of lower inside the the shoe itself. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons the being uncomfortable walking with them. Uh, that's the reason why I changed to those ones. Now, those ones after the amount of kilometers, uh, the 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 heel still has a lot of support on them. Uh, the actual shoe still performs like if it was new. The big difference is if you look at the lugs, like obviously there's a, a big wear difference, uh, especially in this uh, middle section here. And I would attribute that to the fact that when I walk my dog, it's like sidewalks or road or whatever. So uh, this would, account for that but everything else like seems like it still has a lot of uh, life in them and I just took them out last weekend for like 33 kilometers section hike and they perform really well um, at this point I haven't uh, read DWR them uh, which means that uh, my face fabric being Gore-Tex is starting to soak a lot of moisture so I do start to feel like I have uh, my feet are getting a bit more wet. Uh, that's uh, like 11 month period without any treatment. I've never had my feet wet in them. Uh, my, my shoe has been fully wet without allowing it to seep in, which was amazing. This is an extremely light shoe, uh, very flexible, but great support. Uh, I have leg and ankle issues due to uh, the fact that my both my legs were broken at some point in my life and, and I have to make sure that I have good stability. So I always kind of opted for more higher end and this one is very low, but for because of the design of the shoe, uh, it actually gives you great uh, lateral stability. Um, something else I would like to point out the shoe comes with uh, Ortholite from Arcteryx. So this is the insole in the shoe itself. Uh, those things are gonna take quite a bit of time, like probably a week. Like I, I usually, when I break up, break, like when I break down those shoes, like it's going out, I, I'll do like the small little, like four or five K hikes. And for about probably a week uh, before I take the new shoes on trail. And that's the amount of time it takes for those to actually 
uh, create uh, your the imprint of your footprint on them but once they're done you're you're set like it, it's it's an amazing uh feeling like it i i actually never had a shoe like this before now some of you might be interested in what kind of terrain i use these shoes in so like i mentioned i walk my dog uh neighborhoods sidewalks and this and that uh but i'm also coastal i'm pacific northwest so this means like i've got a lot of trails around where i live uh on uh vancouver island uh so i've got a lot of kind of softer uh areas a lot of beach walking a lot of mountains uh, uh this is obviously a three season shoe like if you're wondering because like i've seen a lot of reviews that says like in the winter well uh, they, they're kind of slippery because the the rubber kind of gets hard well it's pretty obvious uh so uh, in that case uh if uh, you're uh, familiar with hill sound this is what I use when I, I use them in the snow they have a uh, great grip and this fits the shoe uh, perfectly so it, it's almost like it was made made for these shoes um, in the winter as well since they were Gore-Tex I took them uh, snowshoeing uh, strapping the snowshoe on these shoes uh, and, and after my whole uh, journey, like the, the whole face fabric was obviously soaked. But once again, like uh, the only uh, dampness on my feet was the, my perspiration not being able to escape the shoe due to the fact that the face fabric was soaked. So first, a few features that I like on the shoes is the fact that they have the nose here. Uh, so when you're going up like a very steep, incline like you, your feet obviously the toes are going to move this way but you don't lose your grip because you've got all the front so even if you your foot would slip for some reason you still have the whole nose of the foot that's really to grab um, those are the vibram mega grip uh, the only time those soles uh, actually slipped on me were on a wet log now if you're familiar with the pacific northwest the logs are pretty big here so you kind of feel comfortable but the log was wet there was no bark on it and at some point one of my foot slipped and that's the only slippage i can attribute to those shoes uh but then again walking with a different type of shoe on the same log i would be like both sides so uh in that respect uh they they perform uh, flawlessly I also like that uh, they put a flat shoelace, which is not you, you don't feel it as much on top of your uh, on top of your foot, uh, like a round one. Like a round one would actually dig a bit more on top of your foot, and this one kind of spreads a bit of the uh, the the tension on top of your feet. Really easy to adjust. Uh, the inside of the shoe, the tongue, uh, it's mentioned by a lot of people that make review on those shoes. Uh, it's sewn in completely, so there's no chance of water going through the actual tongue of your shoe here. Um, and then the inside, like I could, I, 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 I'm gonna make a comparable between the two shoes and you can see like there's barely any difference between the inside that's brand new from this one and the inside uh, of the 1500 kilometer shoe here. So all in all, uh, if I have to point out some flaws, uh, I'm starting to see a uh, little uh, fabric, the face fabric starting to tear out a bit. I did have a lot of uh, pokey branches or uh, you know when you're walking and then you feel it on the side uh, and there's no holes, but you feel it. So like great resistance, but like it's starting to show and mind you like it's normal wear. I also like with the the transition between the rubber part here to the face fabric you're starting to see some delamination uh, of it uh, due to the uh, what well, the usage obviously but uh, uh, so in regard of to those shoes I feel they still have quite a bit of life in them uh, so I do have the new ones but I'm going to read the WR those ones. So if it's something that interests you, uh, make sure you subscribe 
uh, and uh, wait for this coming up on my channel very soon. So I'm gonna show you how to clean your shoes and read the WR them, how I do it. Those ones have never been done, so if they get wet, the, the face fiber gets soaked. So um, once I'm done, uh, that they're gonna be uh, ready to go back out. I will still wear those ones for quite some time because they're still comfortable. But I, like I mentioned, those ones are gonna be my new long uh, hiking uh, shoes. I just started hiking the Vancouver Island Trail and I'm hoping to be using those ones uh, more often on that trail. Uh, so I'm gonna start breaking those up uh, so I can wear them for like longer hikes. But if I have an, a, a long hike coming up, I still feel, feel pretty comfortable using those ones at this point in time. Thank you for stopping by for watching this review after 1500 kilometers. I hope this was helpful to you if you were uh, curious about the Arcteryx Aerios Gore-Tex Fast and Light. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. My name is Tommy Linton and I love hiking. And this was my review of the Arcteryx Gore-Tex Fast and Light shoe. Until next time, I wish you well.